tayo pong lahat ay manalangin. Dakilang Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat, tunay nga po na pinasasalamatan namin ang iyong presensya at ang iyong paggabay. We need your presence and your guidance, O God, as we worship you in spirit and in truth. Give us the wisdom and understanding and open our hearts and our minds so that we may, we may see the goodness and the bigness of our God working in our lives, especially at this time, O God, that we worship you and we magnify your holy name. Thank you, God, and we love you. Then in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, paraiso, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Salamat po sa imbitasyon at uh, sa pagkakataon na ibinigay ninyo sa akin. Lalo tigit ang ating uh, magaling na at magiting na pastor, Pastor John, at ang bumubuo po ng uh, Church Council. And at the same time, ang ating lay leader. Just imagine ang aking inaanak na si Sarah May, siya na ang lay leader. Ibig sabihin siya ang leader ng mga laiko. Wow, what a great uh, uh, achievement, inaanak. Buong nagmana ka kay, kay, kay Ninong. <laughs> Ay, hindi, mali. <laughs> kay Ninang, kay Ninang pala. Kay Ninang Meds. Uh, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa Panginoong Diyos sa pagkakatoong ito. Just imagine, uh, yung technology ngayon ay hindi po adlang yung ating distance upang makasama ko po kayo at uh, makadaw pang palad. Iyon, palad para sa ating pagsamba ngayong umaga. 40 years, a faith that dares. Wow! To God be the glory. Kaya nga po, pa, kaya nga talagang uh, uh, sa oras na ito, hindi ko man kayo nakikita. Ah, baka yung iba sa inyo eh. <laughs> Gusto nang matulog. <laughs> o, king Kamampangan, tutok ba na lang. Aligay pa mo po, makirandam kayo pa. <laughs> Ditak mong oras ba na uh, uh, masamba po natin ang ating Panginoon sa pagkakataon tulad nito. Una sa lahat, uh, nais po naming batiin kayong lahat, lahat sa, at mga mahal kong uh, iglesia sa paraiso, uh, UMC, kasama ng aking asawa na si uh, Med. Uh, happy uh, 40 years anniversary sa ating lahat. Happy 40 years po sa ating lahat. I love Paraiso United Methodist Church. Sino po sa atin ang nakarinig na o nasabihan na ng uh, praises like, How dare you? Come on, dare me! O dare kayo? Kung hindi pa po ninyo narinig ito, o kung maririnig ninyo uli ngayon sa magitan ng ating mensahe, sapagat ito po yung title ng ating message ngayon, 40 Years of Faith That Dares. And I'm here today to say those words to all of you based on, on our team for your 40th anniversary. For the years of faith that dares, I dare you today. Ano nga po ba ang uh, kahulugan nito? Ang ibig sabihin nito, ang pananampalataya, uh, faith is pananampalataya. And dare is maglakas loob. Kung pagsamahin po natin ito, ang pananampalataya na may lakas loob. A faith that is brave. A faith that is courageous. In my personal journey, and I literally, exp I literally experienced this faith that there is for 36 years now. Alam po ninyo na pastor ako sa loob ng 36 years na. And I know how it works. And I know when it does not work, mostly probably because it's because of me. I know the challenges and I know the power that is at work 
within that makes it work. Alam ko kung kung gumagawa siya o hindi, yung paraan pala tayo na yon sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Just imagine I was only 14 years old when God built this church. Ngayon pala, na dadalhin ako rito ng Panginoon after five years, or five years later, after its founding, God appointed me to this beautiful, lively, and supportive church. Napakaraming karanasan po na ibinigay sa, ng Diyos sa akin sa pagpapastor ko sa paraiso. My story of a faith that there is in started here in, in, in this church. At 19 years old, I was assigned as a solo pastor with a very few memory verses and a little experience in ministry and don't know much about Tagalog. Nahihirapan po ako. Kaya pala kapag nagsisermon ako, natatawa yung mga kabataan, ngayon pala yung Tagalog ko po, kapampangan. Akala ko, Tagalog na akong Tagalog. Ngayon pala, kapampangan lang yung nasasabi ko. Kaya, ayun, uh, masaya. Masaya yung pagsamba. <laughs> A faith that works. Uh, masasabi ko po, without this church, without Paraiso United Methodist Church that helped build the foundation of my faith, I don't think I will still be in the ministry today. Dahil na rin po sa Paraiso United Methodist Church kung bakit hanggang ngayon po ay pastor pa rin ako. This was the church that helped me and molded me the way I should be as a servant of God. I was appointed here at Paraiso UMC without a seminary training. No administrative experience and very real exposure to evangelism. Ang alam ko po ay tinawag ako ng Diyos. All I have at that time is a faith that dares. Pananampalataya na may lakas na loob. Ang meron sa akin at that time, at, at the age of 19 years old, yung lakas ng loob, yung tapang. Bakit po? Bakit naging matapang po ako sa sa gitna ng aking kabataan. Dahil alam ko po, ako ay tinawag ng Diyos. Because I know that I was called to ministry. God called me to become a pastor. Knowing that God is my Lord and Savior, and the calling that I know for sure in heart, that God that gave me enough courage to be brave facing challenges, that comes being a young pastor of Paraiso United Methodist Church. Paraiso was a very intimidating church with lots of young professionals, mga military personnel, military retirees, teachers. Ang founder mismo, si Lola Sana, and talented young people. Kaya nung pumunta po ako sa Pariso, naku, napapaliburan ako, nag, napapaligiran ako ng mga matitit, matitinding mga miyembro. Magagaling. It was in this church that made me depend more on the power of God. It put me on bedded knees. I prayed a lot, fasted, and committed so much time to do sermons and studying the Word of God. Remembering those times now bring back great memories of God's faithfulness and grace at work in me. I am very thankful that truly God equips the cold. I survived the five years of service in this church and grow so much in my faith, in my personal journey. Sa panahon po na nandodon ako sa paraiso during those uh, period. Paano po malilimutan si Ate Joan? How can I forget Ate Joan? As our youth leader at the time, uh, while Mama Atienza is my Bible study partner and teacher. 
Siyempre po at 8.19, payat po ako noon. I gain enough weight from the delicious foods from the Domingos. Every Saturday night, doon ako kumakain sa mga mga Domingo. <laughs> mga Goyena. Buhay pa yung tatay ng mga Goyena noon. At si Tatay Sopronio ng mga Malyari at saka si Nanay Indang. Oh, nasa Saudi siya noon yata o oh, Kuwait. Pero kumakain din po ako doon. Mga, siyempre, mga, yung gosom, yung mga longganisa, mga, yung kapampangan, pindang nga din eh po, pindang. <laughs> si mga sampang. Kinana, ninang Vicky. Ninang Vicky kapag naiahay na po yung pagkain, naalis na yun eh. Uh, Nag-iisa na lamang ako doon sa kitchen. Kaya ako talagang kain ng kain. Nag-iisa lang po ako eh. Lone Ranger. Kina Ninang uh, Matias, Ninang Mila, na ngayon po ay namaya pa na. Kilala ko si Ninang Mila kapag nakita na niya ako. Uy, anak, panyili mo yung uh, liver spread ni Pastor nga na. Kaya doon ko po nakilala yung Rino liver spread. Si Ninong Johnny, pag dumating na yan, pagkatapos ng duty niya, wala nang, magag wala nang gagawin yan, kundi istoryahan na po kami Ninong Johnny, tsaka Ninang, Ninang Lilia sa Hagon. Si Lola Sana at mga Pineda. At uh, si... Uh, dami po. Uh, hindi ko na matandaan yung iba. Uh, meron pong mabagsik na miyembro dyan sa paraiso. Ang, ang tawag nila, si Lola Sana, napakabagsik po niya. Na siya ang pinakaistrikto sa paraiso. Lola Sana, who is the donor of the church building... It was a challenge for more than a year, but but our love for each other and our partnership in ministry bloomed. She taught me a lot of verses and hymns. Sa kanya ko po natutuhan yung hymn na... Kung nakalimutan ko, sorry po. Uh, she helped me with my sermons. The owner and builder, Lola Sana, is considered one of the toughest person you would ever meet. She was my greatest critic and supporter. Nung pong, ay naku, namimiss, namimiss ko si Lola sana talaga. Nung nag-start po ako sa Pariso, there was no parsonage at that time. And I spent a lot of Saturday, Saturday nights at the Labardas uh, with uh, Brother Leng. Sila yung nagliligawan po noon ni Junilia. Kapag nag-uusap na sila, Tulog na si Pastor Rika. Kwentuhan na sila. Hanggang sa umaga. Kaya yung Sunday, puyat sila nun eh. So, pero, yun. Sinasamahan ako ni, ni Chip, Chip Pop Police Brother Leng at Tienza. Uh, after more than a year, Lola Sana welcome me in her, in her house. O in her home. Tinanggap na po niya ako dahil nagka, naging kaibigan ko na si Lola Sana. Yung mabagsik na matanda. Na doon na ako nagtira sa kanya. Uh, kurtina lang po yung pagitan ng bed niya at saka yung bed ko. Pero maligaya kami nagsama ni Lola Sana. Uh, during that time, the first challenge in my leadership came. The church land title was Pound. Si, na, na isang lapo yung titulo ng lote ng kapilya. Na isang lapo yun dahil si Lola Sana uh, uh, tinulungan niya yung maraming mga tao para uh, makapag-abroad or uh, lahat. So isinang lapo niya yun sa isang ma mayaman sa Barrio B. Pero dahil matanda na po si Lola Sana, hindi na niya kayang uh, tubusin yung lote. Narinig namin, uh, nakarating sa akin, the person said he will demolish the church. <coughs> Excuse me po. <coughs> so that particular event made me pray more and fasted. And God gave me the people to raise the needed funds to pay off the loan and recover the land title. A faith that dared was challenged but God gave me the victory. And we really praise God for that victory. During that time as well, my beloved, our young people were drawn 
and, and attracted to a charismatic church led by Pastor Chrysostomo. So there were tendencies that we will lose them. Dahil gusto po nila yung nagpe-praise the Lord talaga. Eh ako, talagang tahimik lang ako. 19 years old. Batang-batang pastor. Hindi ko, hindi ko alam na, na may ganun pala, na may charismatic pala nun. So it was through prayers and partnership with Ate John that kept our young people and it was then that the Paraiso young people's number grew and their presence and leadership started to be felt in the district level. I remember Tom Guyena. Si, si Tom Guyena, ang tawag sa kanya, word peace. Si Tom Guyena, he became my closest partner who is always at the church assisting me in cleaning the church. And then Pastor Jenner became Pastor Jenner, Deaconess Neneng, Jocelyn, Police Officer Leng, Junilia, si Sisa, si Fatima, si Rose, si mga Dragon Boys, and some of my young people then, marami po, sina Bernard, sina, sina Beltran, marami. Meron pa akong membro na may, magaling manggupit ng, ng buhok. <clears throat> At ang napansin ko po, members of this congregation are gifted uh, members. Because during my time, uh, Kuya Noel Malyari was the TSU Vice President. Ate Oteza uh, was manager. Yung mga kambal ng mga atiensa, uh, si, mga, yung kambal, si Lani, uh, si Kerwina, si Lerlin, siyempre si Meds are my young professionals at that time. There are numerous art uh, stories that I can share, but an hour of uh, preaching is not enough, my beloved. So let's uh, uh, continue that uh, sa next chapter ng ating, ng ating pagkikita. Not to mention that our young children or our children during that time were Tech, si, si Teresa, si Noemi, si Cecil, si Heidi, si Lirio, yung kanyang kapatid. At ang inaalak ko si Sarah May, na bata pa noon, siyempre. And they were blessed and still in the faith until uh, this time. During uh, my three-year appointment, I have seen how the Lord worked in bringing people to faith and improving the church building as well. I was amazed how paring boy single-handedly installed the church ceiling. Wala pong kisa mo yung church noon. Mainit. Tapos yung mga bintana... Wala pong salamin. Basag, basag. So, kinausap ko yung, yung ang, lolo ko sa Mabalakat. Siya pong nagkumpuni doon. Uh, uh, nag, uh, nag, uh, pinagawa po lahat yan. For the second time around, I came back to Paraiso. And this time I got my biggest reward from the Lord. I had a faith that dared then. Saul, a student pastor, prayed for a CPA, and therefore it was an answered prayer. The Lord gave me my partner in ministry, my wife, my best friend, and the love of my life, si Sister Medspo, became Mrs. Madlambayan. Actually, last January 28, we just celebrated our 26th wedding anniversary. Pero wala po kaming anak. That's okay. <laughs> okay lang po yun. <laughs> so yung text po natin ngayon, based on Ephesians 3.20, As a member of this church, we need to continue the legacy of those faithful that were ahead of us. Yung, yung mga lolo at lola, mga nanay at tatay, mga auntie and uncle, mga ate at kuya na nagtapat sa paglilingkod sa Diyos. Ipagpatuloy po natin ang kanilang sinimulan. Our church's mission and goal is still the same. Bring souls to God, to God's saving grace. Bring souls to God's saving grace. The mission is still the same. For 40 years, we need to proclaim the truth in Jesus' name. Mukhang kanta po yun ha. That is the essence of having a faith that dares. Ang pananampalataya na may lakas na loob 
para ipahayag ang Ebanghelyo ng kaligtasan sa mga tao na nangangailangan po ng pag-ibig ni Jesus, lalo na sa panahon ngayon ng pandemya, punong-puno ng mga agam-agam, kahirapan, sakit at kalungkutan, mga problema at mga pagdududa. Tayo po ng mga anak ng Diyos at nakakilala kung sino siya sa ating mga buhay, kailangan tayong magpalakas ng loob at isiwalat sa mga tao at sa ating kapaligiran na nangangailangan ng kapayapaan at kaligtasan. Ano po ang pangako ng Diyos ayon kay San Pablo? Our God is able. Our God is able to do. Our God is able to, to do what we ask. Our God is able to do what we think. Able to do what we ask or think. Able to do all that we ask or think. Able to do above all that we ask or think. Able to do abundantly above all that we ask or think. Able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. Ganyan po magbigay ang Diyos, hindi yung kakaunti lang. Kapag ang Diyos po ang nagbigay at tapat tayong nananayin sa Kanya, ang lahat ng bagay kaya yung pagkalob po ng Diyos. Naranasan ko po yan. Sa aking pagpapastor dito sa Amerika, naranasan ko po yan. Sa aking paglilingkod bilang chaplain, naranasan ko po yan kung paano gumawa ang Diyos. Nakikita po ninyo yung mga to Iyan ang mga awards na ibinigay sa akin. Ito po, mga, mga ganyan. Lahat, ang dami po. Mga, yung proseso ng mga papers namin, lahat ipinagkaloob ng Diyos dahil nanalig po kami ng mataas at malaki ang Diyos na ating pinaglilingkuran. In verse 20, Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose and to do super abundantly more than, more than all that we dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes and dreams or dreams according to his power that is at work within us the means by beloved by which god answers prayer is given in the expression according to the power that is that work that works in us yung 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 power na gumagawa sa atin dito dito my beloved the power that works within us is the holy spirit Ang kapangyarihan ng banal na Espiritu ang kailangan ng bawat isa. Bakit po? Because the Holy Spirit who is constantly at work in our lives, the Holy Spirit seeking to produce the fruit of a Christ-like character, because the Holy Spirit rebuking us because of sin, guiding us in prayer, inspiring us in worship, directing us in service. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, celebrating 40 years in ministry is a beautiful reminder once more that we still continue on winning souls for Jesus Christ. This church had produced workers that responded to the call to ministry in many forms. So it is my prayer that all of us will continue to be challenged today to have that faith that dares, no matter what the state of our society is, no matter what challenges and uncertainties these times may bring. Because the one who we serve, the one we serve, is able to carry us through the end. Yung Diyos na pinaglilingkuran po natin, yan ang Diyos na patuloy na papatnubay, hindi lamang 40 years, kundi higit pa sa uh, 40 years na paglilingkod sa Kanya. Because the one we serve is able to carry us through to the end. My beloved, the more we are dependent on God, the more we will be conformed in Christ's likeness. We can't do this on our own. We can't do this on our own. We need a faith 
the theirs. Hindi po natin kaya ito. Kinakailangan natin yung pananampalataya na may lakas na loob. A lot of challenges and uncertainties may cause us to fear. But we have faith that we will cast out those fears. A faith that is fully dependent on the power of the Holy Spirit. We need a faith that dares so that many people will come to know that Jesus Christ is the only way, the truth, and the life. That no one comes to the Father except Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Always remember, my beloved, the battle belongs to Jesus, our Redeemer and Lord. Yung pong, yung pong uh, battle na ito, yung away na ito, ay hindi po sa atin, kundi sa ating Panginoong Jesus. We are just His vessels and an instrument so that others may see the beauty of Christ, the beauty of Christ through us. My beloved, we are representing the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. We are declaring His message. We are declaring His message, not ours. His message of love, His message of forgiveness, His message of opportunity, the second chance, new beginning, and newness of life. We can change others. But we can pray for them. Hindi po natin mababago yung tao. Pero kaya po natin ipag, ipanalangin sila. We can change others. But we can pray for them. We can force them to believe God. But through our life, we can make them thirsty and hungry to know that what we have through Jesus Christ our Lord. My beloved, we need faith that dares. Embracing the hardest journey of life with great anticipation that we can do this because the one, because the one who is with us is more powerful than, than who is in the world. I repeat it. The one who is with us is more powerful than who is in this world. In 1st John, I have, a, I have a proof of this. In 1st John 4, 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because, because He who is in you is greater than who is in the world. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them. Because He who is in you is greater than He who is in this world. Mas makapangyarihan ang nasa sa atin, mga minamahal ko. Sinasabi nga, if God is for us, who can be against us? Our God is more than powerful. Siya po ang makapangyarihan sa lahat. Siya po ang higit sa lahat. Kaya kung siya ang nasa sa atin, sa ating paglalakbay, bilang kristyano na tinawag ng Diyos sa paraiso, Ang paraiso po ay totoong magiging paraiso dito sa lupa. Magiging paraiso po ang paraiso dito sa lupa. Mga minamahal ko, congratulations! My beloved paraiso, United Methodist Church, and 40 more years to come. And I challenge you, have the faith that dares. Have the faith that dares. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your message. We thank you for allowing us to see Jesus is greater than who is in this world. Panginoon, salamat po at napalak, napakalaki ng aming Diyos. At gusto kong ibahagi sa mga mahal ko sa Paraiso United Methodist Church na kilalanin nila sa kanilang buhay ang Kristo Ang Kristo na magbibigay ng kapayapaan, ang Kristo na magpapatawad sa amin, ang Kristo na magbibigay ng buhay na walang hanggan. O Diyos, wala po kaming magagawa kung wala ang Kristo na aming pinaglilingkuran. At magiging paraiso ang paraiso UMC sa mundong ito, sapagat kayo po 
ang nangunguna at kayo po ang leader at kayo po ang pundasyon ng aming pananampalataya because you are our foundation and our foundation built on Jesus Christ our Lord and Redeemer maraming maraming salamat po at sa iyo po ang kapurihan pasasalamat sa tanging pangalan ni Jesus na aming Panginoon Amen at Amen